Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I hope you guys are doing really, really well since I saw you last and Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I have some great things to show you guys, so I want to jump right in because I'm just excited to be here with you guys and hang out. Now I found this really great full spectrum CoverGirl product right here, and this is a Sculpt Expert and it's a cheek palette, and I thought that the colors in inside of this cheek palette were fantastic. I love the shimmer to them. They're so, so nice. And I thought maybe I could do myself a full face of makeup for the first time ever in my 40 years of living on New Year's night while I'm in my fuzzy socks in my house watching Netflix, probably by myself. <laughs> so that is what I got this for. And I looked up the price right here and I found it for $13.49. I screenshotted it for you on my phone. So that is the price that I found this palette here for only a dollar at the Dollar Tree because yes, my Dollar Trees are still only a dollar and I have no idea when that is going to change and nobody's mentioning anything. So I'm not asking because I'm still paying that $1 price. Then I found this cover girl as well. And this is the True Blend Pre-Touching Palette. And I thought, okay, I'm going to give that to my mom to try because I have no idea what that means or what it could possibly be used for. So anyhow, I screenshotted the price that I found it for outside of the Dollar Tree. And it says $5.70 on the Walmart site. So that is what I found this beautiful little palette for and my mother is really really good at makeup as I've mentioned to you guys before so she will know exactly what to do with that and it's all hers then I found this I found a full-size cereal and I was so excited when cereal comes to the Dollar Tree that's name brand I go a little bonkers I get really excited my my whole family is a cereal type of like snacking family. We'll eat it for breakfast. We'll eat it for snack. We'll eat it for a late night treat, you know, before we go to bed, if there's a little bit of a hunger there and we just want to suffice it. And this is the Monster Mash edition. It's the 50 year edition um, to celebrate the 50 years of this brand of cereal. And this says artificial berry flavored frosted cereal with monster marshmallows and I have to admit I am a marshmallow type of cereal girl I love um Lucky Charms that is my favorite cereal since I was a little girl so anything with marshmallows in it is going to be a hit for me so I picked up six boxes of this there were still a lot on the shelf and this is a decent size so I'm excited. And I was also really intrigued and loved all of the old original characters. Um, Count Chocula, like they are all there. That is so vintage looking. I'm going to cut out this um, front of the cereal box and I'm actually going to keep it and probably scrapbook it or something, you know, for Halloween and a Halloween scrapbook. I just think it's so cool. I don't want to throw it out. So that is what I'm going to use that for. Then I found some more tags. I went to a couple of different Dollar Trees in the last few days just to see if I could scout around because they are so sparse. Everybody is just like taken everything and so I have to try to like navigate a few of them to try to find some cool things to pull together things I need I've been crafting up a storm I started that binder um little collage book for Christmas that I told you about I think maybe two hauls ago that I picked up a one inch binder at the Dollar Tree and also the sheet protectors um, and I have started it and I am absolutely in love with it. So I went back to the Dollar Tree to try to find some more embellishments to decorate the pages and stuff to finish the book off. And I stumbled upon some more gift tags, but these are the cutest gift tags definitely that I have seen so far out of all the gift tag options that were offered this year. This is a hundred piece and I love the gingerbread I just love the gingerbread. I think that those two little gingerbread, girl and boy, 
are definitely my favorite little characters of gingerbread on any of the sticker sheets that I've pulled from the Dollar Tree this year. And this has a hundred pieces in it. So I really like that. And if there is a way for me to cover up the to and from, because they are gift tags, I could just like put another little heart over it to cover up the to and from and just use them as regular stickers so that I can put them inside of my scrapbook. So I picked up that set right there. But then I also picked up this one, which I really, really, really liked. It's so bright, so vibrant. And all the little characters in it just are so pretty. I love the vibrant colors. And these are also gift tags that say to and from that I plan on covering up that to and from and just using for embellishments. And this is 100 pieces as well. So I picked these up and I won't use all of them. So I can certainly have plenty left over for gift tag options if I do need them. Either this year, next year, the years to come. I have Christmas tote bins for days that I store all of my Christmas items in when the season is over. So they will go right in my little collection and I will be able to pull them out whenever I need them, you know, for the next few years. Then I found these gift tags right here that I'm also going to use for embellishments in my little scrapbook. There's 16 pieces in there and they're ornaments and I love this one. You know I love this one this, the most because this one is the most colorful. I think it's a really, really pretty bulb. And this one says peace, joy, and presents, which I think is really cute in the gold foil. So I picked up this package right there and I really liked that option. These are gift tags also in the 16 pieces. And look at how beautiful this one is. I love the sculpted edges around it. I love the Christmas bulbs. I love the neutral colors. They're the very creamy, creamy colors in this little package right here. Season's Greeting and that beautiful wreath that looks like eucalyptus for um, a wreath. It's just a really, really pretty little set. So I'll use those for embellish embellishments also. And now I know a lot of people have hauled these, so I won't show them too long because I'm sure you've seen them plenty of times at this point, but my stores never got them. So I was really, really thrilled to find all of them, but I picked up a couple of just my favorite games, and this was my favorite game of the color forms. Um, they have Trouble. They also had Sorry. They had they had this one. They have Battleship, which I did grab a Battleship. Um, and I think there was one of Shoots and Ladders. And they had every single one of these games that comes in the color form set. And But these two are my favorite. It's the Guess Who game. I had this game always growing up. My son then had it his whole childhood. And it was one of our favorite games to play together as well. And I can't wait to whip this out on Christmas and play it. So two board, two boards, um, two game boards, 50 color forms and instructions come inside of this. So I think that that's really amazing for a dollar to play a game. So I grabbed that. Then I also grabbed the battleship. I loved Battleship also, but it was so hard to like contain all the little pieces always um, that I would end up losing so many of them and have to keep replacing my Battleship game at least once a year. Um, so this is really cool in the color form style. So that will be fun to play with my family. Uh, you know, if my son wants to come over and we not come over, he lives here, but it feels like he comes over sometimes because he's never here. Um, but when he comes home and it's just a quiet Friday night, if he wants to sit down and play Battleship with his mama, um, we have that game on hand to have fun with. So I love that. And by the way, okay, let's just um, address the elephant in the room. If anybody notices, I am a little... I'm a little cryy today and I don't look very well. It's been a tough end of the week and I do feel fine. I'm okay. You know, my back has been hurting. You know, I'm looking forward to my doctor's appointment on Monday. My dog, you know, is just, she's, she's doing well, but she's still, you know, 
she's still trying to get there. So it was just a tough ending to the week. I had myself a good cry a little while ago and I'm still a little puffy from it. So I'm trying to pull it together for you guys. I'm happy to be sitting down with you and ending my week on a happy and positive note doing this haul with you guys. So I love you and thank you for being here with me. Um, and then I found these really, really great scissors here. They're from the Jot brand and I love fun scissors. I could get a pair of scissors anywhere that are just cookie cutter, you know, scissors with the silver um, scissor part and just a plain old handle, but I search out scissors that have some type of design to it. I usually get myself a really pretty pair of Christmas scissors every year that have some type of a Christmas theme to them. Then I found these today at the Dollar Tree and I love the colorful polka dots. So I picked myself up a pair because I plan on doing more and more and more crafting as the days go forward. I don't want it to end at Christmas. I've really had such a good time relaxing and doing some crafts that I want to try to keep the momentum up and keep myself craft craft crafting, crafting a couple of hours every single day in the evening so that I can have my own personal downtime, unwind, not answer my phone, and just kind of disconnect. It's just nice to kind of disconnect. And then I found this one as well. And I love, I love all of the pattern on this one, how bright and colorful it is. And I think that these are just really nice looking scissors. But they did have a few other options as well um, that were just as cute. But those two were my favorite styles. Then I found this. So uh, with my relaxing and crafting, I like my space to smell magical. So when I come home, I clean the house. I start with the floors. The, then I go to the counters, the sink, the bathroom. I just like to freshen everything up so that I can enjoy my space and feel relaxed in it. I don't feel relaxed unless things smell good and are, you know, cleaned up. So I always do that every time I get home, spruce things up, and then I spray all of my room fresheners. So I am excited to have found this one I have never seen before. This is from the Wizard brand. And I have so many of their scents, but this one is brand new to me personally. And this is Vanilla Papaya. Um, Yeah, hello. Yes, I will take it. And it smells amazing because I spritzed a little bit of it. And it smells like a magical dream. So you know I love magical dreams. <laughs> and I thought, it's coming home and I can't wait to come home already on Monday and like jazz up the place. And then I found this one. This is white floral, uh, floral from the wizard brand also. And it smells amazing, amazing, amazing. So these are two brand new scents. I don't know if you guys have seen them or noticed them yet, but if you're a scented type of person like me that likes their, their space to be really perfumed, then these are the scents that you want. So I grabbed those. And I was really, really excited to have those on hand at the store so that I could pick them up. Now, let's talk a little bit about these hot cocoa bombs. And as I pick up the hot cocoa bomb, I noticed that this one has broken, which makes me sad. But I got some backups, so we have a backup plan. And um, these hot cocoa bombs right here that were offered at the Dollar Tree this year, that was the first time I have ever noticed them. This is a chocolate, chocolatey hollow filled with mini marshmallows. And we did these on Thanksgiving. And we also did these on um, my gingerbread party night last weekend. I posted a video of that gingerbread little gathering at my house with my immediate family. Um, I posted it to my vlog channel, which is Crazy Callen Vlogs, and showed you guys, you know, what we did that day and how we spent that time together. But anyhow, we did these, and I really personally enjoyed them. I've heard a lot of conflicting reports of 
what people thought about these. A lot of people said they didn't like them at all. They didn't like the taste. They, it just wasn't for them. For me personally, we had so much fun with these and they made the hot chocolate taste like a chocolatey dream. It was really, really good. And everybody at my house loved it. So I picked up more for Christmas so that we could do them on Christmas and Christmas Eve. So this one's broken, unfortunately. Um, but they were really good. And it was just cute to watch the marshmallows puff up to the top. It was fun. We had a fun time. We sure did. Then I grabbed some more of my tins that I need for the holidays. Um, I already baked a massive amount of cupcakes the other day. And I shared a picture with you guys on my Instagram. It is Crazy Days of Callan over on Instagram as well. If you'd like to follow me there, I like to share everything with you guys over there outside of just hauling for you here, you know, for, from the Dollar Tree. That's my life over there on Instagram that I pour out to you. And so I did all my cupcakes and then afterwards you have to do all those dishes. Well, I have another round of cupcakes that I have to make for actually doing it for Christmas. And so I decided to pick myself up some muffin tins. And this is a two pack right here. So these are just easy to bake in toss away no dishes necessary so i grabbed a couple of these so that i have four all together so that i can bake a lot at once put them in pull them out all at the same time let them cool off frost and decorate them so i picked this up then i grabbed myself this right here which is a two pack as well and this is for the rack this is for the rack so that when we're baking cookies and what have you, these are just flat and we can put a lot of stuff on here at once. And one can go on the top layer of the oven. The other one can go in the uh, bottom layer, bake at the same time. So I really like all of their tin options at the Dollar Tree because it just helps me enjoy my holiday more by not slaving over the sink the entire holiday. Um, so this I thought was really awesome because I've seen a smaller splatter screen, but I haven't seen this bigger one. And this is from Cooking Concepts. So the other one is much, much smaller. It's just a really, it's a small circular one. So I never picked it up, but then I found this much bigger one for the splatter screen. And it comes with the little handle right there. And sometimes when we're cooking, things are just popping out of the pans all over the place. So this has a good mesh to it, a screen to it. And that will be easy to clean. And it will contain whatever we're cook cooking and from boiling over, all over the stove. So that will be much help during the holidays also. Then I found the fun mix from the um, Hostess Mix Great Candy Dish Item. And I picked this up last year, but this was the first time that I had seen it in the store this year. So I was happy to pick it up again. It does come with a variety of options inside of this bag. It's a really big bag of candies. And you just buy one of those little crystal um candy dishes they're plastic but it looks like it could be real crystal over in the party section where all of like the paper plates are and the party wear and everything pop these inside of that little crystal dish and set it on the counter for like after dinner mints and this little strawberry I'm trying to get it down but there's a little uh, yeah right there that little strawberry wrapped looking candy right there. My Nana's always had those in their little crystal candy dishes all over the place. So this is just kind of like nostalgic to me to have the, the mints in those little candy jars. So I grabbed that for the holidays also. Then I found this in the party section. My mom's birthday is January 17th. And so I picked this up for her for her cake that I will make her for that time. And I thought it was really cool. It's like, uh, it feels like it's not a, like, it's not a structurally really um, firm 
piece, but it's a cake topper and it feels like it could be like plastic or something like that. It says happy birthday, but I think it was really cool looking. It came in this just like clear silver looking option, but it also came in a gold option as well. So I really like that and I'll stick this up out of her cake for her birthday. So that was a new um, piece that I had never seen over in the party section either. Then let's see what I can pull for you guys now. I like to set it up on the side of me and then just kind of randomly pull so that I'm just as surprised as you of what I'm going to show you next. And then, oh, this wrapping paper. So I love the Grinch. I love, love, love the Grinch. And they have the Grinch paper at the Dollar Tree. And it's the perfect Dr. Seuss Grinch right here. And this is a 20 square feet roll of wrapping paper. I get my wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree every single year. And I just think it's such a great buy for a dollar. I can wrap a decent amount of presents with one roll of this. Um, every year, every year I get probably like five. I would say roughly around five or six if they are ones that I really can't, you know, negotiate with they, and they have to come home with me. And I can wrap all of my presents very, very easily with just that. And that's $5. Some places you can go buy a wrapping paper for like one roll for like $5. And then you don't even have options of different ones under your tree. And I am not a matchy person, as you would probably guess, you know, from just being here with me. I like things to be like eclectic and wild and collective and I love a bunch of patterns, a bunch of different colors and I just want it to look homey and handmade. And it's just fun like that for me personally. Then I found these in the toy section and I got these for my son and my son's girlfriend and I think that these are really cool because these are fidgety things this is ages three plus this is squeeze and release pop non-toxic it says so these right here you just you squeeze them together and the suction kind of just pops them apart and they're just fun to manipulate in your hands it's just a fidgety type of toy so I got one for each of them to put in their stockings. They had a lot of really, really cool fidgety items, you know, over this last couple of weeks, which I've been really excited about. Then I picked up some poinsettias. No, it's not a poinsettia. What am I saying? Hollyberry and greenery. And I found these two different types of picks. And I thought that they were so, so beautiful to just kind of make a floral arrangement and add this to the center of it so that it kind of just pulls it all together. I am going to go look for some red floral stems and just make some bouquets out of this and put it in a vase on the table for Christmas dinner. So I thought that this one was really pretty with the snow effect on the um, greenery and the berries. Really, 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 really pretty. I love this one so much. And then this one is more solid, still just as beautiful. And the berries are just so red and vibrant. And I think that that is just a beautiful stem for only a dollar. You can't, I don't feel like they've really upped their game in the floral department over this past year. They are definitely competing with the bigger stores that charge way more for a floral stem because I have pulled together some pretty unbelievable arrangements with Dollar Tree florals over this past like year. It's been awesome. Then I picked up this stocking for next year because next year is going to be an elf and Grinch themed Christmas at my house. I'll probably intermingle the two somehow, some way. And so I found the stocking today and I could not leave it there. I was so excited to see his cute face. And this is a great looking stocking. So I had to pick it up and he is just hunkalicious. I think he's so lovely. 
and just sweet. I just want to give them a big old hug. So I picked up that stocking right there and that's brand new. We're only a week out. You know, are we? We're roughly a little under a week out from Christmas. Um, and there's still so many things to come to the floor. Now let's talk about that for just one second. Like, I don't know about you, but my stores are so understaffed. It's not even funny. And the people that are working are working so, so hard. So I know personally so many of them now just from shopping there, we've become like friends, you know, we've really interacted with one another and gotten to know each other through my shopping for my hauls and for my personal life. And they work really, really hard. So I encourage you to please just be as kind as humanly possible. They are working so diligently. They're trying to get everything out that they possibly can, but the manpower is just not behind them. So a lot of the stuff that is still yet to be out for Christmas is just getting there so late because they don't have enough people to push it onto the shelves. And I know some of my girls at my local Dollar Trees are working like double shifts. There's one girl that works all day until noontime. She goes home to sleep for four hours and she comes back for the evening shift and then she stays overnight to stock shelves and there's not too many other employees that are behind her so like it is serious business and it's really important to show them the utmost respect and gratitude and kindness every time that we're in the store of any store not just the Dollar Tree any store anybody that's waiting on the public like they need some love. We need to give them some love. Now this, I found this tote bag and I could not leave it there. I thought it was so cute. And I actually have a kitty gift that I'm putting together for somebody that loves cats. And so I had to pick up this tote bag. Look at all of these cute little cats with my style glasses on it. My style eyeglasses all over it. They're cute, sweet little faces. So this is from the Juncture brand. I found it right up by the registers. And so I snatched it up and I was so excited, so, so excited to grab it. Then I found myself this right here. And this is the dark pomegranate um, that I was talking about in that Alley and Rose brand. I showed you the blueberry chocolates the other day, but I then found the pomegranate. And you know why I get these? I get these so that I have them on hand so that when I get in my car at the end of the day, like I explained to you the other day in my haul, when I was showing you the blueberry ones at the end of a long day when I'm leaving and I'm in pain from my job and I'm exhausted and I just need a good cry on the way home, I'm eating chocolate usually. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm usually eating chocolate and trying to like calm my nerves. So, so I had to pick this up because I was really excited to see the pomegranate. And those are our candies that I have had trouble finding, you know, for a while now. But they have been my favorite to come out at the Dollar Tree always. They're really, really good. Then I found these little tags right here. And I had found them quite, quite a while ago. And I needed some more because I am going to hang these. And these say ornament on it. But I am going to hang these from some gift bags. So I was excited to find them again randomly. And I love the little penguin here. And this says, hello, winter. So here his his little cuteness right there. And also I found Santa again. And this says, peace, love, and joy. And I think that these are really, really, really cute. I love that they're shaped. I love that they're shaped like tags. So that's adorable. And now almost last but not least, let me try to pull from here. While I'm pulling from here, you can look behind me and see all of my beautiful, gorgeous, wonderful Christmas cards that have come in 
over time and I am so utterly grateful for every single one of them from so many of you and also from people in my own everyday life. So I have all of my cards hung up today and right there I received this one from one of my beautiful friends here on my channel named Jenny and she sent me that card today and I am so grateful to have received that card. So thank you guys so much for all of the Christmas cards. It means so much to me and I love hanging them up. So I'm going to leave my backdrop like this, I think, for the next week and just keep adding to my Christmas card collection if any more come in. Then I found these metal tech, um, metal tech 49 piece of, um, what do you call these? I don't know. Metal tech? I can't, this lightning race car, there it is. It was a different language on the other side, just so that you guys can see. And this is what it says, lightning race car right there. And so you have to put it together. And so these are really, really nice, especially for people that collect cars and you assemble this and it's one set. It includes the tools and everything. So it says tools included. And that's, I think, really, really awesome. This one is a warehouse forklift, which is so, so awesome. I've never seen a forklift being offered. Um, and then this one is a cloud chaser, which is an airplane. Um, so that one's really cool. And then this one is a city crane. So how nifty are those to put in for a stock and stuffer? I think that is terribly cool right there for sure. And then let's see, I found these also. And I just dropped something. Um, I found these Hot Wheels, okay? Hot Wheels monster trucks. Hot Wheels monster trucks. And how amazing is this? I've never, ever, ever seen Hot Wheels monster trucks at the Dollar Tree. These go for almost $4. I think when I looked them up, they were $3.97 a piece for these Hot Wheel monster trucks. And that looks like it. it's a shark-shaped monster truck right there. Have you guys ever been to a monster truck show? They are so fun. So, so fun. I absolutely love them. We have a blast, a blast going to those. And then this one also from the monster truck line of the Hot Wheels. So that is really, really cool. And then this one. So look at that. How awesome. So, so cool. So I grabbed all of those. And again, those are roughly $3.97 a piece outside of the Dollar Tree. I am wondering, I'm not fibbing to you. I am wondering when we are going to go up to that dollar twenty-five because they are certainly not talking about it to us at all. I They don't even mention it. So I have no clue when it's happening. But I think all of these things that I haul from the Dollar Tree are worth an extra 25 cents. There's some things that won't be and I'll stop picking them up there possibly. Um, but most of the stuff I would still pay a dollar twenty-five for. Like these. This is Wonder Woman and Superman. And they are in these little tiny sized plushy squishy cutie pies. Fantastic for stock and stuffers. And this is from the Justice League right here. I have never ever ever seen these before at the Dollar Tree and I have several stuffed animals in a Wonder Woman and Superman pair so these will be a great addition to my collection of Wonder Woman and Superman couple um, collectibles that I have so I was really really excited to see those two and then I found Batman which is awesome because I put together a really really great Batman gift for my little cousin Murphy. So Batman is going to be added to that collection also. 
and this is the Justice League again. So there he is. Then I found SpongeBob and I found Squidward. I looked so diligently for Patrick, but I could not find him. And so this is from Nickelodeon. And how cute. How cute. I was obsessed and so excited. So that is it. Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. And you know what I'm about to say to you because I just love you guys so much that I can't stop giving you guys options for giveaways. And I picked up a couple more things and I wanted to offer you to win this before Christmas, certainly, so that, you know, whoever receives it can enjoy just having fun with it. And it's just kind of like my style of like fun for the holidays. And this is from the Rudolph brand right here. This is $5.98 and it's Clary. It's Clary from Rudolph and it's a headband. So how cute would that be? I think that that is adorable. Then this little stocking right here, and this is $5 as well. This is from the Rudolph movie, and this is Clary, and this is a tiny little stocking. So you have this, you know, little pocket right here that has Velcro that you can maybe stick some chapsticks in, lip glosses. So there she is right here, and she's just the sweetest little thing ever. I think she's so, so cute, and she matches the headband. And then this I thought was cool also. This was $4.50, and this is one of those wrist snap bands of Clary also. So it's like a little, a cute little pet for your, for your hand to play with, like your palm. And it's fuzzy all the way around so that the band isn't tight or hurt your wrist. So those three items are what is up for grabs for this giveaway right here. And so if you guys are 18 years and older, you are subscribed to my channel. You like my videos every single time that you watch them and are here with me. And you comment down below. That will be... um enough to make you eligible to put in the comments down below on this video here right now hashtag and Rudolph together put the hashtag and the word Rudolph together so that it highlights it for me and then I will know that you are somebody that is entering to w try to win this little Clary from Rudolph set for this particular giveaway so that is what we are doing today. So I love you guys so much and thank you for being here with me. Stay happy, healthy, loved, blessed, kind to one another, peaceful and joyful and just be a good person every single day that you wake up in the morning and infect the world with your love and joy. So that is it. Thank you guys. Please, if you would not mind, subscribe like, share, comment on my videos, share them if you would like, and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified every single time that I upload a new video. I love you guys so much. I won't keep you any longer. And um, I will look for your hashtag Rudolph if you are a subscriber to my channel. And um, your name will be entered to win that little giveaway right there. So I will pull a name tomorrow night, Saturday, um, no, tomorrow night, Sunday night at 6 p.m. So that is when uh, you will see a video from me is in the evening of the name that I pulled to win that little set. All right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful, blessed, amazing night. And I will see you on Sunday night. And then I will see you on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. Bye, everyone. Have a beautiful one.